Hey everyone, this is Jenny from Homestead Corner and today we are making the easiest peanut butter fudge in the world. And you should have everything right in your pantry. This is definitely a special holiday treat for us. I don't do fudge that often, but the kids love peanut butter fudge and so I do whip it up once in a while, a couple times a year usually, not much more than that, because this is super sweet, all fudges. So this is so easy, and you should have just about everything in your pantry. Um, if you have canned butter, you can use that. You want to make sure it's real butter. Um, that's the only thing. I've never done it with anything but real butter. I know this works. So uh, some peanut butter of your choice, just creamy peanut butter, vanilla powdered sugar that's it four ingredients so let's get started okay, so this recipe moves pretty quickly so I'm just start with lining my pan with parchment paper um, this just makes it easier to get out when you want to cut it up uh, you don't have to do this but I really like the parchment paper it makes it so easy you literally can lift it out of the pan so we got that all lined and we're gonna get over okay, to the so stove. I'm just gonna start with my pan on a medium heat and I'm gonna put my two sticks of butter or one cup of butter right in there and I'm gonna start melting this down. I don't like to do it too fast because I don't wanna scorch anything. So we're just gonna let that start melting down and I'll bring so it once these are about half melted, it takes me about that long to get the peanut butter measured out. I'm gonna add one cup of peanut butter so this can melt in with the butter and we just want to get that all in there and we're just going to stir this once we get it all in there peanut butter is so hard to get out of these cups Ooh. yeah and we're going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla to this and then we're just gonna stir it a little bit we want to pay attention to this because this moves really quickly once everything is all melted together I'll bring you back okay once this is all creamy and mixed together really well and all the lumps are gone I'm gonna remove this from the heat now and we're gonna start adding sugar. Okay, so we have got this off the stove and I'm just gonna start adding the confectioner's sugar about a cup at a time. This takes three and a half cups all together, but I'm gonna do it about a cup at a time and mix this together just so it's not too crazy and clumpy. You could see it gets a little funky. Get this all mixed in nice. and just keep stirring and mixing. Put a little more sugar in there. Do this while this is nice and hot, makes it a little easier. starts to smooth out a little bit and then I add a little bit more and we're gonna add a little bit more sugar And we just keep doing this until it is all mixed together. And you will see as you get towards the end of the sugar, this is really getting quite thick. So we just want to get that last bit of sugar mixed in there. And I scrape the sides of the pan. I want to get it all. No waste. Get every piece. <laughs> So once you have all the sugar mixed in, I am just going to start packing this into my pan. I'm going to put it in and press it right in there. 
super simple and easy. This literally is collecting all the ingredients and everything. I think you might have 10 minutes in it. It's pretty quick. And this is a five by nine pan, because I don't know why I don't own any square pans, but you could put it in an eight by eight or um, a smaller pan if you want it thicker. It's totally up to you. And we're just gonna press this in. Kind of moves around a little bit because of the parchment paper is slippery in the pan, but once you get it in there, I'm just going to get this so it looks the way we want it to. Not that it needs to be pretty, but... Alright, and once you have it pressed into your pan, we're going to cover this over. And we're going to pop this in the refrigerator for about four hours. Okay, so after about four hours, I just pulled this out of the fridge. And it looks like so. And then we're just going to lift. You can see these papers. You can lift it right out. That's why I love parchment paper. So easy and simple. And we're just going to cut our fudge. Simple and easy. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Yummy. All right, so I'm just going to cut through here, give it a few slices, and then I'll cut it the other way. And that is it. This is the easiest fudge I have ever made. It's so simple. It's delicious. And we just love it. Peanut butter fudge. If you like walnuts, you could just put them on the top when, before you put it in the fridge. Mm -mm. If you like this video, Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.